also the Irish Water Spaniel, a really fun breed. If, if I call them the clown of the Gundog group, I, I hope I'm not doing them the disservice because they have this wonderful clownish temperament, which means sometimes they give their handlers a hard job in the ring because they really want to go. And of course, one of the lovely things about the Irish Water, and probably the most sort of well-known thing aspect, is their, this, this lovely personality that they have. They, they have, but that personality needs to be channeled. They need to have a leader. They need to have plenty to do. Otherwise, that energy that they've got can go in the wrong direction. They can get frustrated and mischievous and out of hand. So it's important that they get an outlet for that energy, that they have training and lots of opportunity for exercise. You know, they are water dogs. And you know, one of the great hallmarks of the breed is this oily ringlet coat which they have which covers the whole entire body apart from a little bit of the tail that gives them water resistance for working underneath the coat however they've got big barrel ribs for stamina lots of lung room now the head is is unique it's got this they have to have a fairly long head you know they have to have quality in the head and it's said that perhaps the poodle in the in the ancestry of the Irish water spaniel gives them that quality in the head the the occiput here the good skull and nice foreface and wonderful eyes and expression they are really clownish dogs there's quite some low numbers i would say in irish waters but they're very successful in the gundog group actually i think if you get a good one they're a very flashy breed they're a very upstanding breed and they attract attention on the whole got marvelous character and they like to be the center of attention so they may be good confirmationally but they have the temperament that makes them a really good show dog. To judge the Irish water spine it's essential that judges go underneath the coat. You know it has an oily quality to it which is the top surface but underneath that they have to have big ribs, they have to have good angulation, strong hindquarters and remarkably webbed feet like a lot of the water dogs webbed feet which the judge should look at and this tail you know coated in the first quarter of it and then bare so there's another unique feature for the breed so and of course that clownish temperament but when they get going and you get a good one they look magnificent they're a wonderful breed